um, let me back up just a step and, and, and say that, that in the last uh, 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 10 years or so, there have been a couple of medications approved uh, to, to um, uh, treat PKU. The, the first is called Sapriterin, um, and it is the, uh, the, the, the cofactor, an essential vitamin necessary for the PAH enzyme to work. Uh, and when supplemented, uh, it provides uh, uh, some individuals with PKU uh, 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 some reduction in their fee, presumed to be uh, because of uh, uh, stabilizing the mutant enzymes that these individuals uh, have. But it's a, it's a fairly small percentage, uh, both in numbers of patients and the percentage of fee reduction that you get from that in most individuals. The, the, the second therapy um, is, is much more effective. It's an enzyme substitution therapy, uh, a, 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 a drug called uh, uh, Palenzeek, and, uh, and, and that is a, uh, a, a pegylated form of, uh, of the enzyme phenylalanine lyase. That, that enzyme takes phenylalanine and turns it into, a, uh, takes an ammonia off of it, turns it into a, a compound called transynamic acid. And so that's, a, that's, that's a, not a, a toxic compound. Uh, and and, and the, 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 the good thing about that uh, uh, therapy um, is that it can, in fact, at least in theory, reduce uh, the phenylalanine level in anybody uh, because it just, uh, uh, what it is, is it's an injectable. So you, you do a sub-Q injection uh, and, and it enters the bloodstream and starts digesting the fee or metabolizing the fee. The problem with it is it's a fairly difficult drug to use. It is a, a, a subcutaneous injection. Uh, most individuals use one or two um, uh, uh, injections a day, and those injections are two cc's, two milliliters of, of a very viscous uh, preparation. Um, uh, some individuals have to go up as high as three, uh, and, and so it is uh, difficult to use as a result. Uh, uh, probably only 20% of our patients with PKU in our clinic uh, are, are, are using that drug. Um, uh, and, and thus the need to, to continue to develop um, other, other, um, other therapies. Um, and, and so that's where um, the, the, um, uh, uh, the Synlogic um, medication, it's just got a number, it doesn't have a name yet. Uh, it's called uh, uh, SYNB, S-Y-N-B, um, 16, uh, 18 uh, comes in. Um, <coughs> excuse me, that, <clears throat> that is a, um, um, a, a genetically modified probiotic that introduces um, two different enzymes that can metabolize phenylalanine as well as a, a carrier that allows the, the organism to take up the phenylalanine uh, more readily. And so you can take this as, a, as an oral medication, gets into the intestine where the phenylalanine level is high um, and, and, and goes higher when you eat, uh, and, and, uh, and, the, and the organism can, uh, can digest the, the, the phenylalanine before it gets absorbed uh, into the bloodstream. Uh, so that's the basic, uh, the basic concept here. That, that, um, that probiotic is um, uh, uh, modified so that it can't replicate, in other words, it can't, it can't duplicate um, so it, it's, it's ingested, it does its thing, and, and then it's either broken down by the intestine um, or uh, excreted in the, in, the, um, in, in, in the stool. 